Let those in your area be pulled into your location through the force of Foursquare. Foursquare is a free location-based loyalty program with over 20 million people worldwide on Foursquare, with over 2 billion check-ins, with millions more each day, and over 750,000 merchants using the Foursquare platform. Foursquare.com forward slash business is where you can find out all the details. Those people in your area who have the Foursquare application on their smartphones will be traveling through your area or walking down your streets and able to check in through Foursquare to see who's in the area and they are drawn to those locations that have put in for free specials about their locations. Let's see how this works. So in Northumberland Tourism, if you either go to the Northumberland County's Tourism website and click on Northumberland Tourism's website and then go down here and click on Foursquare or and or you can go to foursquare.com forward slash Northumberland T both will take you to the same location scroll down and look for things to do click on things to do and then scroll down to find your company. Northumberland has currently put 77 companies up on this pilot program. So if you're not on the pilot, give us a call. We'll be glad to add you. Or you can just claim your own company on your own if you like. So click on your company. And then what you'll see when it opens up is over here on the right side, claim here. You click on claim here, see the little claim here on the bottom right, and it brings you to a screen. You have two options now. You can claim your Foursquare business by using your current personal Foursquare account if you have one, or by using your current Facebook account if you have one, and which would be just clicking on Facebook and signing in or indicating your email and password and logging in already have signed up for Foursquare, but if you haven't signed up for Square, Foursquare, fear not. Just click on sign up for Foursquare right here, and then you're able to, I'll take you to the sign up form. So you'll sign up, and at this point, once you click on join, they'll send you an email. This email is to verify, of course, that you're a real human, and then once you click on this little link, which indicates that will come to your inbox. You'll be able to continue where you left off and you can uh, simply claim your business now. So what you can do is, I skipped over these, uh, these items at the beginning. There's a skip here step. I just wanted to edit my Foursquare information and claim my business and add a venue. But you can, if you wanted to, instead stop at this, lo this spot and let your friends know that that's what you're about to do in your various social media locations. I suggest you do that after you've added some photos and some specials. And then the next step is that you can actually um, sign up for Foursquare yourself as personally. However, again, I think you should continue to the home page at this point. And finally, continue to claim your venue. So once you click on claiming your venue, it would like to know that you really are authorized to claim that venue. I suggest you say yes. And then what you can do if you are in Canada, uh, you need to say, um, uh, it'll ask you if the, if the email that you just indicated was really the email that you wanted um, when you entered to claim, in this case I'm pretending I'm claiming giant to me. So you say yes, continue with the claim. And then you indicate, well, what kind of claim is this? Do you have more than 10 locations of businesses or do you just have one? The most case, I would think that we're talking about one of a kind with one location. So click on that link. And then what you want to do is to confirm that you are the location. It will send you a PIN. However, in Canada, uh, they will not call. They won't call you in Canada, so you have to say, no, let's try a different way. If you're claiming a venue in the States or business in the six states and you happen to be by your business phone number, they, you can say yes at this point, they'll call you with the PIN and you can claim it right away. 
in, the, in Canada, you have to say, no, let's try a different way. And then what they'll do is they'll mail you a verification code. Uh, at this point, you can pay $10 and get the verification code sent to you right away, or you can just wait a few weeks and you'll receive it in the mail. You'll also receive a little uh, window sticker in the mail saying that you're a four, that you're a four square merchant, so people know that they can come in and um, and check in. So once you receive your uh, verification, you're, you'll receive it in the mail, and there'll be a PIN number that comes in, and then you go back to your four square with the ID and password, and you'll be able to um, claim your venue, edit your venue, add specials look at all the statistics, see who's checked in, how old they are, you can communicate with them, it's quite exciting. So now let's say that I've checked in and I've, sorry, I've claimed my menu. You'll end up with a manager's tool up here after you've claimed your menu. So it'll say manager's tool and you've claimed your venue. You can go down and um, edit your menu. When you click on it, you can edit your venue. So you click on edit, you can add photos, you can change the email, you can change the uh, photos, you can create campaigns. What you'll see which is interesting when you log in is this um, little URL which is under your company's name. Again, this is in the admin area. You'll see http colon forward slash forward slash number four square dot com forward slash and some unique letters. Those never change. Those are, that is your Foursquare um, URL. You can add that to your website, follow us, you know, check in with us on Foursquare. There's a number of things you can do with that. Um, you can um, every time someone force every somebody every time somebody checks in, they say 40% of them actually have their Foursquare automatically up, great updating Twitter. So you can listen on Twitter for anyone who up. Uh, checks in on Foursquare and automatically send them a uh, another coupon if you like. That's getting a little advanced. So here's what we do to take advantage of the free simple Foursquare specials. All you simply do is here active campaigns or start a campaign. So all we do is click on start a campaign, click on add special, when you add the special, there are a few different types of specials you can add. A swarm special, a friend special, flash special. I suggest, why not a newbie special? This way, if you, uh, say you have Tuesdays and Wednesdays are your busy times, maybe then you'll have a newbie special. Get one free cupcake with every um, cupcake you buy, or get a free cupcake with, or get a free coffee, coffee rather, with every cupcake you buy. You can make your special whatever you want. Um, and a lot of people that I know that use this well will have their specials out there on days that are a little bit less busy for them to pull people in, have the force of square, force square, draw your clients. Loyalty, this is if you're going to reward existing clients. Uh, people that have checked in three times, mayor special, those people have checked in the most. Some people have a VIP table always reserved. For their mayors and mayors is a term they use for people who have checked in the most to your location so this is i pretended i clicked on um, uh, a swarm special where when 20 people or more with a maximum of 20 of 30 have unlocked my special at one time i will give them a special that special might be 10 percent discount on the ice cream at sophie's hut on a special on a certain street and um, so and then it ends up looking like this you could say that it's 10% discount on an entree, could be first second entree free, um, uh, purchased with the first entree of you know, $10 or more. Always make sure it's a special that makes business sense to you. So after that, this, it gets, you, sh you can see what the special will look like on someone's telephone. And at this point, you wanna make sure you train your staff so when someone shows them their phone, and they, and they see that this person has a special that your staff knows it's a legitimate um, special. You can have the campaign start on a certain day and end on a certain day. So if you want it to only run for a week, make sure you have a start and end date. And this is what it looks like when you have a uh, special. You'll have a list of all your specials. 
pending activity. These are ones that are about to start and end. I just haven't activated it yet. So you'll have all of these, all of this, all of this power at your hands. So things that you want to keep in mind, um, if you're going to create a special, uh, special treatment for your favorite clients, re reward your best uh, customers, and so again, they have a a a, um, a plethora of type of specials you can create from UV specials, friend specials, flash specials. Swarm specials, check-in specials, loyalty specials, and mayor specials from um, gaining new clients to retaining existing clients. So it's a fantastic free loyalty program for you to use. So some of the pros, what they say to do is try running two specials at once, maybe targeting two different types of groups. Um, other ones say that Keep a record of how things are going so that you can decide uh, which specials you'd like to run again. And try new things. Again, as I said before, if you're having a slow day, put up a special on that slow day. This is what you'll have access to. It's the merchant's dashboard. You'll be able to see what time of day are your specials being claimed, what is the demographic of those people uh, that claim your specials. Uh, so you'll have total daily check-ins over time, most recent visitors, most frequent recent uh, visitors, gender breakdown, what time of day, portion of your venue uh, four square check-ins uh, that broadcast to Twitter and Facebook. It's a great free advertising tool. So they check in and when they check in a lot of these folks have it automatically update Twitter and Facebook letting all their friends know that they've checked into your location. So again this is what it looks like on those people who are looking for your location. They'll look to see who are all those people in the area who have Foursquare. As they scroll down, they'll see, oh, this one has a special. I'd like to check out that special. So having a special draws them in. You can be on Foursquare and not have a special, obviously, and they'll see your location, but having a special draws them in. So jump on the bandwagon and make sure you claim your venue and then add a special. So I hope this helps and um, I look forward to uh, checking into your location.